Good day. I'm Charles Gibson at ABC News headquarters in New York, and I welcome you to the World News Webcast. You'll meet the artist who is making art out of a shopping staple. We'll introduce you to Scott Blake, is his name, and his barcode art. If you spent the weekend shopping for gifts, there is little doubt that you got a taste of what has inspired a certain artist that we came across recently. He's finding a way to turn the ubiquitous barcode into art. My name is Scott Blake, and I make art with barcodes. I don't like to limit myself and say I'm just a computer artist or I'm just a digital artist. I kind of like to do it all. I make these portraits out of barcodes. All of the barcode portraits that I make of Elvis and the superstars like Marilyn Monroe, Madonna, I use real barcodes from real products. My barcode portraits are enormous. Some of them are as large as eight feet tall. And then I make flip books that zoom from one face all the way down into one barcode. I wanted to give the consumer something that they could put in their hand. I just wanted to take it and shrink it down. There was this abandoned building down the street from where I live. I went out there in the middle of the day, and people walked by, and they thought I was marking this wall for some kind of excavation, and then pop the next day as a barcode. I think if you take a photograph of it and, and shrink it down, you can scan the photograph, and it will scan as a Pepsi 2 liter. I wanted to do some paintings inspired by the barcode. They're sort of made like barcodes. They're pretty cheap. They're kind of meant to be looked over, but we're all used to going into Google and just typing in a few words and brings up this enormous amount of information. I'm interested in Warhol. I read books about Buddha and Jesus, and you know, I'm a consumer. I'm just trying to boil it down to the most bare minimum concept. The barcode sort of allows you to look at information for what it is. They're black and white, and they, they break everything in the world down to, to one identifiable symbol. And I wonder if you buy one of those flip books, does it charge you for every single one of those barcodes? That could run into real money.